It is day two now of a busy special session for our state lawmakers. A bill that would provide $57 million in financial aid for small businesses has passed the Senate. It's close to passing the House. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, tracking all the developments from the Capitol. So, Sean, how soon will the businesses see the money? Well, Jim, the wheels of government often turn slowly, but in this case, lawmakers tell me small businesses should have money in hand by January, February at the very latest. As for who qualifies, the bill targets about 20,000 businesses in danger of closing. I wish we had enough money. For everybody. Under the bill, money is only available to businesses most impacted by COVID restrictions. That includes restaurants, bars, caterers, movie theaters, fitness clubs, and cultural arts and entertainment venues. Individual artists are also eligible. And if a business is minority owned or in an especially hard hit county, it can apply for additional money. This is so some of these businesses can keep their head above water for maybe a few more weeks. To be eligible, businesses must also prove an income of less than two and a half million in 2019 and loss of revenue of at least 20 percent since March 26. They must also follow public health orders, even if they're in a county like Weld that doesn't enforce them. We don't want small businesses who are doing everything right to be penalized because their county commissioners choose not to follow public health orders. The state will distribute the money to counties on a per capita basis. Businesses will apply with their county and grants will be based on income. The more the company made and lost, the bigger the grant with a cap of 7,000 and the average grant about 1,700. We know that we have to have um, the administration time to get it out, but we want you all to know that this money is coming. Our goal is to make sure that you can come back and have a chance of recovery. Don't shudder yet. Now, a separate bill would allow restaurants and bars to keep up to $2,000 a month in sales tax. Another industry that lawmakers are targeting for relief is licensed child care providers. 10% of those have closed in Colorado just since March. A bill that has passed the House and got initial approval in the Senate would provide $45 million in aid, with grants ranging between $500 and $50,000, and based on a center's capacity, need, and location. That money, however, won't be available for a couple months. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.